Pogo here, and welcome to episode 74 of Bucket Coding. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to mute the chat. Now, some of you probably already know how to do this, but I have been getting a lot of comments related to this. A lot of people want to know how to do it, so I'm going to show you uh, how to do it. I'll show you first the simplest way, and then a couple of different things that you can do to adapt it. So, um... First of all, we have our plugin right here, um, and we register our listener. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and write a listener that will listen for chatting, and go ahead and do our event handler annotation, public void on player chat, and this is an async or asynchronous player chat event. If you look at some code from like old versions of Bucket, you might notice that it uses a player chat event, but that's been deprecated in favor of this async player chat event, uh, which is just better as far as the threading goes. So if you go ahead and take a look at um, all the methods inside of this event, um, you'll notice that there are these methods called get format and get message. Um, get format returns kind of like that first part of the message, which has the name of the player in it and maybe a prefix, and then get message returns actually what they were trying to state. So, uh, again, prefix or uh, format is just the first part before whatever they were going to say, and then the message is what they were actually going to say. So the simplest thing to do here is just to set cancel true. And if you were to go ahead and test this anytime anyone were to chat, then it would um, set it to be cancelled, and then no one at all would be able to chat. Uh, chances are that you wouldn't want that, so I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of things uh, that you could do. So the first example that we could look at is, let's say that you want to uh, censor stuff. You could say something like, if e.getMessage.contains, so a bad word, then you could set it to be cancelled. So if you want to check and see if their message contains, uh, you know, a bad word, or if you have a collection of bad words, maybe stored in an array list, and you wanted to loop through all of those bad words and see if it contains, uh, then you could do something like that, and that's how you would be able to censor bad words. And you could also even do something like e.getplayer.send, sorry, dot send, uh, send message, and then we can say like chat color dot red, and then we'll say don't curse. You could also implement something with like a warning system where it would give them a strike, and after three strikes, saying bad word three times, it would ban them. So that's an example of how uh, you could do it with censoring. An example, let's say that you want to do it with a permission. Maybe you have like some large lobby server and you only want to allow donators and staff to chat and then all the regular players have to use private chatting. So you could say uh, if e.getPlayer, of course you can get the player, um, and then you can say dot get name dot equals, or we can say if it's not equal to uh, notch for an example, then we can say, you may not chat. So and then in this case, only someone named Notch would be able to chat. Or I guess that really isn't a permission. So that would be uh, names. And now let's actually do permissions. So you could say, permission. So if exclamation point e dot get player dot has permission, um, you chat dot bypass then we can tell them that they can't chat and cancel so if they don't have the permission to chat uh, then they won't be allowed to and then we can just get rid of that so as you can see there are a lot of um, different things you could do uh, so you could have like um, like a sensor for bad words you could have a whitelist or a blacklist where only certain people could chat or certain people could not chat uh, or you could do it by permissions, and there are tons of other different things that you can do, um, but that's how you would
basically check with the uh, message, uh, check with the message, and check with the player for various different conditions, and then cancel the event if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and export uh, this plugin. Go ahead and reload the server, and then we'll we will head on into the server. Okay, so we are now on the server, and if I go ahead and just chat you'll see that it says that you may not chat and the reason why that happened is because my name is not equal to notch so let's just go ahead and say take that out so that I will of course be able to chat and in this case notch would not be allowed to chat but anyone else would be allowed to chat so now as you can see it does allow me to send my message so let's test each of these we already know that the name related thing works but let's say that I try to type in bad word you'll see that it says don't curse and the message is not sent to anyone not even in the console that message is not logged uh, because the message is not uh, sent so it's cancelled and the message is never sent because of cursing and the third condition was the permission so I think I'm op right now so I'll go ahead and de-op myself and now as you can see it says you may not chat and that would of course be because I don't have the permission. I don't have a permissions plugin installed on here, so I'll just go ahead and re-op myself. And now I am of course able to chat. So that's all for this quick video. I had gotten a couple of comments about this, so I wanted to uh, just make it for those who didn't know how to do it. This is just um, it's, uh, canceling chat messages based on a variety of different conditions. Um, so as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn as always. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, videos. Bye guys.